Hey, this is Cynthia, the Vegan Sleever, and I'm here to go through your weekend exercise challenge exercises. So I put a poll out in the V-Tribe wanting to find out if you were interested in doing booty or abs, and the technical terms are glutes and core. And it was kind of a 50-50 split, so I decided we're gonna do them both and we're gonna combine them into uh, one video. So the other thing is please make sure you check with your doctor before beginning any exercise program, um, especially if you have any kind of injuries or underlying conditions. Please be aware I am a certified personal trainer, but I'm not your certified personal trainer yet, and so I can't be there to supervise you while you do these exercises. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's do some stuff for our glutes and for our abs. Okay, so the first one is going to be a seated piriformis stretch. This is actually one that I really, really enjoy because I have a lot of issues um, with this muscle right in here, and I know I'm getting technical piriformis, and so this is a really great stretch for that. Okay. So if you have knee issues, this might be a little bit difficult for you. So again, please check with your doctor before you try any of these. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your feet planted. You're gonna bring this leg up on top of your other knee thigh. And literally, you can push down a little bit. You don't have to. And all you're going to do is lean forward. You should immediately start feeling a stretch in your low back inside your hip area, your abductors, and you should be feeling it in your piriformis muscle, which is in your butt. This is an awesome stretch, especially if you have a lot of low back issues, sciatic issues, um, this is a great stretch. And you just hold that. I don't want you to bounce during these either. Any type of stretching exercises, you can, especially if you're cold, meaning that you haven't warmed up. If you do a lot of bouncing, you can really injure yourself. Okay, and same thing, just switch. And again, you'll feel that uh, in the IT band, in the side of the thigh, you should feel it in, in your butt, and you'll feel it in your low back. All right, so the next one is going to be a hip abduction, and that's gonna be a left and right sides. The only thing you're gonna need for these exercises this weekend is a nice chair, uh, preferably without arms, especially once we get to a little bit more ab stuff. This is just mostly for balance um, because you really, you can do these without, or if you have a counter, your kitchen counter, that's another one. You can do these while you're waiting for the food to cook in the microwave or your smoothies blending. Um, so again, right leg, and literally you're gonna take look at the side of your foot, make sure your posture is good on all of these, and you're just gonna bring that up as high as you comfortably can. And you're gonna feel that in here, and you're gonna feel it in your backside. And you can do start with five, start with something easy. I don't want you leaning way over with these. I literally want you to try and keep your posture as straight up and down as you can. There's gonna be some give and then you're just gonna raise that foot. And like I said, the side of your foot is what's gonna be going up. So I'm gonna just turn around so you can see this from the back side. Same thing, I want you standing tall. We're gonna go left leg, and you're just literally gonna bring that leg up as comfortably as you can. And you should be feeling that stretch. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one is gonna be a single leg kickback. Obviously, if we did two, this would be a whole different exercise. So again, you're gonna hold on to a chair or a counter or something that's gonna give you some support. And you're literally, I want you to make sure your posture, you're standing tall, okay? And you're literally just going to kick that leg back like you're trying to get your heel to go up. Or somebody was annoying you and your orb wasn't in the right place. And you're just gonna kick back. That's gonna work all this up in here. And then you can go to the other side. I would start with five to 10 of these and you're definitely gonna feel them. Okay, so the next one, next three actually are gonna be seated. 
So the first one is going to be a seated crunch. Now I'm going to show you two variations of this because sometimes, if it, especially if you have um, low back issues or knee issues, crunching all the way down might be tough. So I'm going to show you two versions of this. Okay, so in your chair, I want you to go as comfortably as you can to the edge of the chair, but so that you're still stable. Okay, plant both feet flat on the floor because you're going to be raising them and I want you to make sure that you keep your balance. Okay, so we're going to show you the traditional crunch one first and I don't want you pulling on your head. Okay, I don't want you pulling down. What you're literally doing is you're taking your elbow and going to that other knee, but I want you lifting the knee at the same time. So here I'm going to show you. That's literally what you're going to be doing. Now, if you have low back issues with this one, I'm going to show you a version that you'll still get a good ab workout, but you won't have that stress on your low back. So you're going to have the same motion, except you're not going to go with the crunch. You're going to go with a twist. So you're going to raise that left leg and you're going to twist and then twist, okay? And you don't have to go down with it, just go with a twist, okay? So that's a variation of the same exercise. All right, so the next one is gonna work your obliques, which are these muscles in your side. Same position, again, don't be torquing on your head or have it so you don't have any neck stuff. And literally what you're gonna do is you're gonna go Crunch down side to side. Make sure your posture, especially on this one, you're sitting up tall and straight. And then you're just gonna go side to side. Okay, none of these should hurt. You should feel some muscle movement. Obviously, you're gonna feel some stretching, but there should be no pain involved. If there is, then do not do that exercise. All right, so the next one is a seated forward crunch. Now, there's a couple different versions of this one. Again, make sure you're in the same position, seated at the edge of your chair. You can just go down slightly and then come back up. Just ever so slightly down and then back up. If you need a deeper crunch, you can go down further. But what I want you making sure is that your abs are doing the work and you're not assisting. In other words, I don't want you doing this with your low back. So I want you to feel those abs moving. Okay, this is a, this is a tough one to do. Um, and if it's a little too difficult for you, there's another version. This one's a little bit more complicated and it involves more balance. This is your bonus exercise, by the way, is the seated crunch where you're raising your legs up. So you want to make sure you're in a safe position. Your arms are anchored behind you. And then you're just going to bring your knees up and then push back down. So that's your bonus crunch and that one's a lot more complicated and you've got to watch your balance with that one. So with that said, that's your abs and your booty, core, booty uh, workout for the weekend. You can follow me on Instagram at CL Dales. My Facebook fan page is Vegan Sleever. Um, and if you're interested in personal training, my website Saved by Five Fitness or you can also put in CynthiaDales.com. And as always, my YouTube channel is Cynthia Dales. I post all the weekend challenges up there and I also have free workouts that you can do if you are cleared by your doctor. Again, thank you so much for allowing me to show you these exercises. If you have any questions, please feel free to DM me, email me, text me, or call me. Um, I love talking to people in the tribe. You guys are so awesome. And I just want us all to be healthy, happy, and look amazing. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon.